So I'm going to show you right now how to go ahead and uh, work the WYSIWYG in um, the Avada template here. <clears throat> so basically you have a whole layout. Um, this is the home page. And you can see here we got some full width container boxes. Um, and you'll see how those translate to the site. So the full width is of uh, this one right here, the flip boxes, is this whole area. This container full width is basically the light box, and these uh, this is called model, uh, model. How do you, you pronounce it? And basically, it'll pop up any one of these that you call out when you click on this button. So here is another full width container, and that's going to be this part right here, where everything's in orange. These uh, models are you can't see them; they're hidden. So basically, what happens is when you click on this this light box shows up which is this one right here close that out when you click on this one down here this light box shows up so I have two different types of light boxes that I can customize and call out whenever a button's clicked this right here is a separator it just gives you space um, in between the uh, the, te or the the full width boxes so the separator is pretty much like right here you can see there's a little white space so, um, and then down here we have our these different three columns. So here's the other full width container. I got three columns in here: the name, the system, some content, check boxes. Um, so you can see that right here. And there's three columns: the name of product, content, the checklist. Then it goes down to another light box, which is this one right here. You see this right here, it's a menu anchor. This basically helps um, a uh, menu let you know, let them know where to go to. So for example, the anchor is right here, you can't see it. On this page, they have the option to go to website gallery, which takes them right down here. And that's what this anchor is for, so let them know it's a tag. Um, so once again, here's another light box, which you'll see right here. And then down here is the uh, carousel image. I'm going to add some more over there eventually, which is this full width container. So um, let's go in and do a modification to the flip boxes. We want to bring this over into two thirds of the, of the full width column, and then a third is a form on the right. So I'm dropping in a third to let the full width container know that I'm now dividing it and then two-thirds. So I'm going to put the flip box in here. So now it's not full width anymore. It's going to be a three column container within the two-thirds. It's going to be kind of narrow, so let's change this to two. So if you click on this, you're going to have, you're bringing the editing the two-third box. So we want to actually click on this one. Now we're editing the flip box. So clicking on that. Number of columns, I'm setting this to two. And in here you can see that you have multiple options for boxes. Um, so I'm going to save that. And then in here I want to add my form. So what you can do is click now on the builder elements. So this column options is exactly what it is. Um, you can just make sure you can uh, specify the size of the columns within the full width containers. Builder elements are the WYSIWYGs. You can drop in all the functionality of WordPress. Um, Custom templates is stuff if you've created a template you like, you can save it. Uh, these are pre-built templates from the Avada theme. They're pretty nice. You can always click on one, modify it, and then save as a custom for later. Um, so you can keep building up your gallery of templates. So we're going to go back to the builder elements. There's multiple ways you can do the forms. You can either add a uh, content box and work it that way. You can do um, just text which I believe is, where'd that go? You can put just code in a text box. Um, this site's using Pardot, so we can grab code, the Pardot code, and stick that in there. Um, but for this one, I'm going to do a content box. Now, the, it defaults to four columns, which means four uh, columns within the third, which is going to make it super narrow. So we're going to change this to one. You have all these little options. Um, it'd be fun to have an icon, so I'll do icon on top of title, icon circle size, we'll do small, 
content to the left. Um, maybe I want it centered. Oh, kicked out the option. So left or right. Uh, you can do extra classes in here. Be careful when you do classes and IDs. Sometimes it breaks things in WordPress. Um, so whenever you can change something, change it in the editor if possible under appearance. And this is just like the overall site editor. Uh, that's more advanced coding, but for people who can do it, uh, just change that in there. So content box, you can add to multiple ones. I just want one for the form. So um, let me give this a try. Grab some code. So this one is the title. So let's talk about your needs, the icon. Look for something that I want for a form. Uh, checkbox would be good. Let's just uh, you choose a checkbox for now. There's multiple ones as you can see here. So just to make this a little bit faster, I'll just grab this. You can always change that later. Uh, content box background color. Um, we'll just leave it for default. We can customize that later. We can change the icon color, icon circle, icon border, flip icon, rotation icon, yeah, spinning icon, you know, all those extra little fun things you can do. Um, icon image, you can upload your own, which is great. Um, the width, the height, the URL, links, target. So there's a lot of options on here. So now I'm going to put the form in here. So you have the, uh, the text and the visual. Visual is what most people use, like a Word document, um, but it's good to get comfortable with, with coding, at least basic coding HTML. So in case something goes wrong with the visual editor, you can go in and look at the code and make sure things are set up correctly. Um, since I basically have part up forms, I already get the code. So I'm just going to put that in there. Now this one right here, um, there's a separator. So I'm just going to go and publish as is. I'm probably going to go in and remove this part, but I just kind of want to see what this looks like. So we'll probably already have that up at the top, um, but I'm just curious if this one might look better. Then I would get rid of the title. This is a separator from um, coding from the Fusion Builder, um, so it just gives it more space. But you can always go in and click that Add Media, so you can create pull images from your gallery. So I like this the way it is. Um, you can put a slider in there. Let's see, you can add other fusion builders. Here's all those other options we had initially, so you can put those in there. And those are the WYSIWYGs. So I'm just going to save as is, and we're going to preview this. This is a live page, so you always want to preview it before you hit save. So there we go. We have the flip boxes to the left now, and we have the form on the right, and looks like we need to do a little bit of styling to make this look better. So, um, so I can either style it in here, or I can probably work this part. Let me see if we have an option for um, making the title a bigger font. Let's see. Oh, I pushed the wrong thing. Uh, cancel. I accidentally clicked on the column editor, not the content box. Okay. Let's go back to the content. Let's talk about your needs. Okay, it looks like I cannot do that. Um, so I'm going to change that in here. So let's talk about your needs. Uh, let me change it to 35. I think that'll help. And preview. There, it's getting better. So you can see it's not overlapping as much, and I don't like the fact that I have uh, an orphan, is what we call it. Um, so if I do the break here by your, it'll still be pretty small underneath. I might do the break in between talk and about. Um, and then I'm going to get rid of this because I can't change the size of this um, without messing with these. I don't want to 
ruin these ones because it's the same. The Let's talk about your need is very is the same as that uh, online marketing strong web presence. Uh, so I don't want to mess with that. So I'm going to get rid of this title. I'm going to keep the checkbox and then break that here onto another line and maybe make this a little bit taller and then work on uh, getting a background color on this one. So go back to the editor edit this box I'm deleting this and then content for box or background color I'm just gonna grab something real quick and then I'll choose a better one but next time that's maybe right there a little bit lighter so you can see everything um, okay and I go back to this so in the visual editor you can see that there um, you know, once again, you can't really change the height on this without knowing some code. Um, so once again, it's better to teach yourself over time. So we got a separator right here, which is basically this part, and and then the form. That's the code for the form, which is right down here. So now we're going to give this a background color too when we preview it. All right, so we're going to save, preview change. And ta-da. There we go. Um, and I'm not really a fan now of the icon um, since it's right at the top. So let me do this. I'm going to go back in here. I think I can get rid of that. or at least give it padding. So icon on top of title, small content left. Icon color, nice if we can give it some padding. Okay, I'm not seeing an option for padding around it. And this is where you'd have to add the custom uh, CSS classes uh, to give it some padding. So um, don't want to jump into that right now because that's a little bit more advanced. So I'm just going to kind of keep this as is. Possibly, let's see, we got icon beside title, icon beside title, and content by the title, icon boxed. Let's see how that looks. One moment, I am getting a phone call from work. Uh, okay, I'm back. Um, so we left off. Uh, basically, we wanted to fix the form. So click in here. Um, we had this icon above title. I tried beside title. Um, so you can actually just remove the icon. It wasn't looking very good. So what I did for that is when I went into my content box, this was clicked before originally. I just clicked it again so it's not highlighted. Um, as you can see, it's red for the one you want something. Um, just click it one more time. Oh, it removed itself a lot of time. It looks like there's a glitch in this. Let me cancel that. Usually you can click it again and it uh, removes itself. As you can see, last I did that uh, when I wasn't recording, so there's no icon highlighted right now, so I want to have a no icon box. And I changed the color to blue. Um, we still want to break, or I'd put a line break in between about and need. So that would be, you can either do that through coding, which is just a bracket BR. Um, and you could see in the visual editor, it took it down, um, or you can just put your, 
your cursor there. Um, I would do a shift return, a soft one on this if you don't want to have a huge paragraph break. If you do a hard enter, it's going to jump your about your knees down pretty far, and that kind of looks ridiculous. So um, I think everything's good. So I'm going to see how this looks. I'm going to save, preview changes. And much better. There we go. There's our form, and we have now our flip boxes to the left. And then eventually I'm going to consolidate uh, two of these boxes, and we'll have four instead of five, so we don't have this extra row down here. So that's just a quick introduction to how to utilize this, uh, this Fusion Builder. Uh, before I forget, since I do like this now and I'm happy with it, um, I want to go ahead and save. So, so that still looks good. And I'll just kind of double check how everything translates. Usually you want to do this on your tablet or mobile. Um, so that looks better than this isn't the true true definition of how it's going to look on tablet and mobile. But it looks like everything's pretty smooth with the, the form. So I'm going to go back to this page and hit update. So we're updating the home page now. It's live. Hit update. Now when I go to the RPS form, hit return, there we go, there's the form. Still a chance for them to be captured here. I like to hide these forms behind light boxes since we already have one there, but having a call to actions are nice. There's another form down here. Those are from those models I showed you earlier. Alright, I hope this has helped. Um, until the next tutorial.